Okay, subtraction with compensation this time. I've got a, an example here in green to explain to you how it works and then we've got uh, three that we'll try out and I'll show you how to do it. So first of all the example is 34 take away 19. Now 34 take away 19 is quite a lot to think about. When you're taking away 19 there's a fair amount of subtraction to go on there. So how can we make it easier? Well we can add 1 and round it up to 20 which is what has happened here. So that means we're taking away 20 instead of 19 and so we compensate that action by adding 1 on the end. So we've got 34 take away 20 which is 14 add the 1 which gives us an answer of 15 and write in the answer 15. So let's go straight down to some questions. 45 take away 18. Once again, pretty tricky if you were to try and do that in your head, but if we use compensation, we'll just round this 18 up to 20. So it will then look like 45, round the 18 up to 20, like this, and we know that we added 2 to the 18 to make it to 20, so we put that 2 there that we added, and now we can say 45 take away 20 is 25, add 2 is 27. OK, next one. 57 take away 19. Once again, a bit of a handful to do that in your head. So we round up the 19 and we call it 20. So let's write it out as it's been changed. 57 take away 20 because we rounded it up. And we had to round it up with 1 to make it up to 20 so we'll put that one there and now we'll do the question 57 take away 20 is 37 add the 1 38 okay last one 83 take away 18 this time I'll just cross this out to remind you that we're rounding it up to 20 and we've rounded up using the total of 2, so 18 and 2, so it's 83 take away 20 add 2 which is what we use to round up the 18 and now we say 83 take 20 is 63 add 2 is 65 and that's how it works. Subtraction with compensation Thanks for watching.